Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an empties video prepared for y'all. So if you are interested, do keep on watching. Remember if you enjoyed this video to like and comment down below and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. So right here in front of me, I have my basket. I sort of categorize them with skincare, hair care, makeup, and fragrances. I have a few of each, so let's get started. So first up, I have this Freeman's Anti-Stress Dead Sea Minerals Clay Mask. Now this has to be one of my very first purchase mask, and I really love this. This is something that I will definitely repurchase in the near future. Up next, we have this L'Oreal Hydrogenous Moisturizer. This also is one of my favorite moisturizers I've ever come across. This has to be like my third bottle of this. I love that it is gel based and it is not thick and it's just like really smooth on your skin. It isn't oily or anything like that. So this is definitely another repurchase in the near future up next we have this kate somerville biomimicking peptides serum now this product i got it in one of my boxy charms now when i calculated the price of this in tt they were actually selling this for around 600 now to be honest with you i didn't see much of a difference but i know serums are there so that other products that you put in after like moisturizers and stuff like that will absorb more into the skin definitely not going to be repurchasing this probably um i'm going to try like essence or a cheaper serum up next i have this color makeup wipes this is the only makeup wipes that i use i purchased this at pennywise and i like this wipes because even though you know some wipes dry up this does not dry up at all even the last wipe is very moist so i purchased these wipes in abundance up next i have the simple skin quenching sleeping mask in my very first pennywise haul i mentioned this product this is was the very first product that i purchased from the brand simple and i absolutely loved this i love these two products these has the same consistency and sometimes when i felt like i would interchange with these products like if i wanted some extra hydration at night this was the product that i would go in with and it's pretty affordable i remember paying like 40 dollars for this and it lasts me a, a month or two so definitely will be repurchasing this product up next i have the facial radiance pads from first aid beauty this product i received it in another boxy charm and to be honest with you um it was okay because it's like a toner so i didn't really see much of a difference it cleansed my skin really really nice but for the price i think my normal toners like these will work perfectly fine for me and i have my cotton pads and all of that because this had 28 pads in it and it says to help exfoliate tone and brighten so i am not going to be, be repurchasing this so let me put that on this side up next i have the simple foaming cleansing sensitive skin experts cleanser now it has a little bit in the bottle and i purchased this a couple of months ago and yes it's almost finished am i going to purchase this back probably not i'm not saying that it wasn't a good product but um i don't know probably if i'm not getting something that is working better probably yes 
but i want to try more cleansers and stuff like that but it worked good it didn't dry out my skin or anything like that and i really like the thumb you know so yeah i don't know where the cover is so this is probably like a maybe up next i have the miserol two percent shampoo now this is actually a shampoo for dandruff okay but also for other skincare fungus do you know that when you have dandruff and dandruff falls on your face or whatever it actually um you know affects your skin yeah i didn't even know that but yes so the reason why i use this product is because i suffer from a skin fungus and i cannot i cannot pronounce name so i'll be putting it up on the screen right here and um i found the article on looking at youtube videos and someone did a whole article about this is a, a good couple of pages maybe like 50 or 60 pages long and basically is due to heat and yeast in your skin and this fungus actually loves the hot climate and i put off reading the article for a really long time and when i did i realized that trinidad and tobago is the number one country on the ls that people suffer from this and this is one of the products that they recommended now i paid like 200 for this and how i would use this is that i would apply this as a mask for like 10 to 15 minutes probably like once for the week now you can't use this often because this is going to over dry your skin but it did work and probably i will purchase back this in case my skin starts to flare up more i still have it in between but it's finished so i can't use it right and also they provide a website because certain products that you would use it would actually um produce help your skin now produce this fungus certain products that you would use and there's a website you go and you copy and paste all the ingredients like on moisturizers and stuff that you buy and it legit points out what actually um if these products help with producing this fungus so you will know what to buy okay so this will be a purchase in the near future not right away not in a hurry but it definitely works and like i said it is not only for skin fungus it's like for a really good dandruff shampoo as well up next i have the egg white foam in cleanser and this is from the brand skin food and i purchased this from porsche by diana i paid like 130 dollars for this it does not smell anything like egg don't worry but this has to be one of my favorite cleansers that i've ever come across sometimes like while you know washing off my makeup i apply this like twice i go in with this twice and it never never stripped my skin even though it was a foaming cleanser it actually has a really nice decent light scent to it so i will definitely be repurchasing this soon up next we have the ole henriksen transforming walnut scrub and i also have the ole balance pore balance facial sauna scrubber now there were actually three of these that came in like a christmas package last year and the other one i'm still using it i paid 125 dollars for it which was like a great bargain so that's why i decided to pick it up this one the transforming scrub the walnut scrub has to be my favorite i will definitely splurge and repurchase this this lasted me probably like for seven months and as you can see look how small this container is but it lasts a long long time it never dried out my skin i used to use this two to three times a week and it never did me no harm so definitely will be repurchasing this this one on the other hand it has like when you apply it to your skin it has like a a tingling sensation and then it it goes away i didn't really enjoy this one i didn't really see any like i mean big difference or anything like that but like i said 
definitely will be repurchasing the full size in this one to use as my weekly exfoliating scrub let's see what we have again and i have one more skincare item which is the origins original skin retexturizing mask with rose clay i remembered that I saw a Instagram post where this lovely girl decided that she's going to do like mini like Trinidadian subscription box and I think um, I can't remember how much I paid for it but these were one of the products so you'll get like nice travel size and stuff like that so that you can try this lasted me a while to be honest with you um, would I repurchase it probably not in a hurry probably not I, I i don't think so but it works really good for texture so this is it here so that is it for skincare items so let's get into makeup which is just like one or two items so let's go so for skincare i have the sasha mattifying face primer now i purchased this a few times and my friend actually gave me this because she bought it and she never used it so i used it out for her would i repurchase this um probably yes um don't really have any complaints about it the price is okay so probably i will give it another try in the near future because you know with makeup you need your primers and stuff like that right um up next we have the milani conceal and perfect now this is a really really nice foundation my only problem was i picked up the wrong shade and as you could see like it's a uh, in the shade tan i believe and when this oxidizes it looks really really dark but the coverage on this is really nice it's a concealer and foundation in one so you can't go wrong probably will definitely try this back but a shade lighter or two who knows up next i have the black opal true color stick foundation and this is in the shade rich caramel to be honest with you the first time that i purchased this it was in color harry sun so i don't even know how to give me rich caramel but anyways and fun fact i worked for black opal as a merchandiser a makeup rep um for one month but i mean i left the company because that was it was too much pressure for me so i left but yeah i worked as a makeup rep i even have the makeup book that i had to like study upon study upon study like right like right here with all their products and all of that anyways it wasn't really a fun experience for me and um up next i have now this is the only one of the only certain um powders that i use which is the l'oreal infallible and all of these are empty i don't even know why i have all of these i think it's because of the mirror i was trying to like you know um keep the mirrors or whatever but how much mirrors could you have so definitely going to repurchase these um this is in the shade golden beige and lastly for makeup is the maybelline age rewind concealer the best concealer ever and if you didn't already see this on my pennywise haul my october pennywise haul i went back and repurchased this and thinking about it now i feel like every single time i go i have to pick up two of these because these are really really good the coverage is really really good this what this concealer does not it does not crease at all it doesn't increase at all and i really really like this and the coverage is out of this world the longer you leave this concealer only up more we have hair care products which is just a few and first up we have the carefree curl goal instant activator and this is something that i basically grew up using i basically grew up seeing my brother use this on his hair 
and my hairdressers recommend this for me to use actually not my hairdressers but a few hairdressers recommended these for me to use but over the time i definitely have found better products but this was like a local brand is this local no it's not but yeah and i'm pretty sure a lot of you all know about this product and then we have the soft and free curl moisturizing spray recommended by another hairdresser as well i will um i don't really mm, no i'm not gonna repurchase it so. then we have the quenching and coconut curls shampoo by ogx remember in my pennywise haul i said that i have this tendency of picking up two shampoos at the same time and not looking at what i'm picking up well this was the first bottle of shampoo that was finished I went on me real honest with you guys when it comes to shampoo and conditioner i don't really see a big difference like how some people like on the packaging how it says it does particular things to your hair all it does all i know it does it, it cleans my scalp in terms of hair care taking doing something to my hair no and i've seen renali and it's gabrielle it's been gabrielle talk about this VO5 so I feel that I went on that VO5 bandwagon because it's inexpensive and yeah I don't see all these expenses this is like $50 for this this so shampoo and conditioner is like $100 no no I'm not going to be repurchasing those shampoo and conditioners anymore it's VO5 for it and lastly, I have the African Roots Curl Activator. And this has to be one of my favorite gels. I don't use it as a curl activator. Sometimes I do. Yeah, sometimes I do use it as a curl activator. But I really, really, really like the scent of this. I really like the scent of this. And every time I go, I try to pick one up. So yeah and it doesn't flake so that is why i just stick with this so that is it for hair care products so lastly my last category is fragrances now you know we have to smell good always so first up i have the a thousand wishes bath and body works and this is legit my favorite bath and body week scent i don't think nothing no new nothing could ever change the fact that this is my most favorite bath and body week scent i love this scent i can't describe it all i know is sweet it smells so 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 good and i really really love this scent and i really need to get back one it smells i've never oh my gosh it smells really 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 good comment down below what is your favorite bath and body wig scent and i also had a um a japanese cherry blossom but i can't find the bottle i know i didn't throw it away but i can't find the bottle currently and i also have another like i have three bath and body wig scents that i finished but these are in the minis and this is paris amour we have pink chiffon and we have magic in the air out of these three my most favorite is the pink chiffon like i said i love sweet scented products okay um but these smell really really nice but um if i would have to repurchase two out of these three would be let me see probably the pink chiffon and the magic in the air now crap i'm mixing up i'm mixing up myself but anyways it will be the pink chiffon and the magic in the air Paris some more it's a nice scent yes it's sweet but i don't know i would prefer to go with these two up next we have um perfumes this is ghost sweetheart and i received this as a gift now this has a very very nice subtle scent to it in the sense that it is sweet 
but it smells classy it is soft it is sweet it is high it's soft. it's like it's smelling high but at the same time it's soft and it's sweet yeah but i really really like this scent it, it smells like comforting like you could just it smells so comforting i really really like this scent and probably i would definitely repurchase this but i would have to order it i must believe i'm not sure because this came from england up next we have the chelsea flowers now i feel like i grew up with this scent like my mom was smelling ladies growing up like not smelling ladies but like you know just getting the whiff of it when they passed and i can't remember who i want to believe is ranelli but i'm not sure who have picked up one of these in their pennywise haul and i decided to pick it up too now i never used it right but just getting that scent i was like okay it's a nice scent and i would definitely repurchase this it's high scented and i like high scented stuff i would definitely repurchase this i think it's like 40 or 50 dollars for it not sure but definitely will repurchase this then i have the faraway perfume and um is it true that the like avon stopped making these because when i was working in a cosmetic store we wouldn't get in any products we would get the imitation tape which was 25 dollars same like packaging and whatever but it was 25 dollars but this one I actually got from overseas, so I know this is like the good, good one, but I don't know. Do they still make this? Comment down below. Because if so, I will definitely go and repurchase it, but I don't want to water down. I don't want to water down stuff. I want the good, good stuff. And lastly, I have these two Rihanna fragrances. I can't remember the name for this but this is my favorite it's my favorite and I and I don't even know the name I can't remember the name Wow Crystal I really really you see the scent this scent has to be my favorite my favorite now I got the three minis in this the almond and nude I don't know where the bottle is but I know it's completely finished and this one and the almond and nude are my favorites as you could see on top there so I have the full size in them um, this one is not so bad but I ain't going to repurchase this okay mm -mm. so that is it for my empties video hope you guys enjoyed it remember to like comment and subscribe down below and as always stay good keep safe god bless and bye hi a little side note if anybody wanted to know the lip combination for this look right here it is the sasha lip pencil in the shade black currant and the sasha lip velvet in the shade rabbit up bye